today we're going to do Wurang fitness exercises. These exercises you can do until you're 150 years old. in Wudang Fitness. This is the opening exercise. Step your feet shoulder wide and intertwine your fingers and stretch upwards. Move slowly downward. Check for the breathing exercise if necessary. And gradually from moving slowly, slow upward downward. Make sure you increase your speed but keep your breathing slowly. Fold forward fold backwards. Make sure you keep your body long, S keep standing on your heels, pay attention to the outer form of your body at the same time and part of your attention is in the front. Forward or backward and here also start slowly and gradually increase your speed. On average you make for every movement nine times. Once you're up, move to the left and move to the right. First start gradual and eventually increase your speed. Make sure you stay long and try to keep your weight in the middle. This has to stretch your intercostal muscles so that your lungs have more breathing space. Rotate left and right, rotate left and right. Turn as far as you can, make yourself as long as possible like a pendulum. And make sure you keep in balance on your heels your eyes open keep looking forward also stretch your hands forward first pull backwards a little bit and then go rotate left and right left and right and every time alternate the hand that pulls so you go for instance to the left your left hand pulls you go to the right your right hand pulls halfway the exercise turn your palms so that your palms turn inward or if you start inward turn with your palms outward so that you also do the other side of your muscles spread out and rotate left and right left and right and make sure that the vertical axis remains in the middle and you rotate around the vertical axis move your hips move your knees move your ankles move your shoulders and your waist your arms remain more or less in the same place and here also at a certain point when you feel like you're ready for it turn your palms outwards and your thumbs and your index finger they make a circle with each other with two hands left and right, left and right, and depending on your stamina you can go faster or you can go slower. And at a certain point when you are ready you start alternating the rotation of your wrist so that you move the muscles from your wrist and from your lower arm and from your upper arm in a very subtle twist so that gradually the space of your wrists and your elbows become larger. Make sure your shoulders stay low and your elbows stay high. Every time rotate also with the neck and the head so that you rotate with it. Very gradually move to the next movement. And now your weight is going into the front leg and you move left and right with your palms and your hands rotate. So it's not like a straight pull but it's a rotating pull. You have to understand every movement also has a martial application. This is a very simple fitness, this Wudang fitness. And it's all based on the roundness of Tai Chi Chuan, but it is also a very specific pattern of your body to move, which you have to learn through these practices. Once you have done this, you go further and you rotate more far, so that your chest muscles are also involved in the practice. 
push backwards, push back, push backwards. Every time push at the same place behind you. Try to reach as far as possible so that the rotation of your body becomes larger. Gradually the joints and the tendons around the joints and the nerves and the blood vessels, everything has to stretch to make uh, freedom of your movement. And at the moment when you feel that you're coming to the end, make a new rotation. This is called cloud hands, cloud hands, lift the elbows to the shoulder level, rotate the palms, scoop with the lower hand and at the back side break something, break something, break something, break something and then you rotate at a certain point in the opposite direction. Make sure you pay attention to the Dantian all the time. Keep paying attention to the Dantian. Don't forget to move around the middle midline. Here you see the rotation change. The rotation change. And here also behind you, you break something, you break something, you break something. So the intent has to be there in the sense that you are aware of the fact that it's a breaking practice. And if you can't rotate very far backwards, just do it to the side. If you can rotate far backwards, rotate far backwards. If you in the beginning cannot, but later can, in the beginning do not, later do. And at the moment when you feel you're coming to the end of this exercise, gradually move to the next one. Wait a moment. Yes. And this is from Parkwa, you go backwards, you go backwards. And every time when you go backwards, you sit, you sit, you sit, you sit. And you open yourself, you pull yourself open so that the intercostal spaces are wrapped open. And that you get stretched and you get breathing space and heart space. Keep your arms long and every time your hands are in the tech mode like in Parkwa. Parkwa Tan. And rotate deep and open. A few more times. Slip open. This is a breathing exercise. Breathing exercise for opening the lungs, opening the lung cavity. Split. It's a snake exercise actually and then make sure that you go from the snake exercise to a rotating exercise a moment a few more times and then you basically switch no oh, not yet wow wait a moment wait a moment wait a moment yes there you go when you go do this make sure your palm stays under your armpit and your other arm stays above the palm so that you open up your shoulder muscles and you train your muscles so that they become stronger and more durable at the same time it's a little bit of pressing with the arms but it's worth it and every time you do still the same snake exercise opening up for the lungs when i was doing this exercise outside it was freezing five degrees below zero not really that cold but it really affects your body because when it's cold there is no chi so then you have to work up the energy to be able to do the exercise properly so the next part we go with other exercises and we swing the head forward backwards you have to make sure that the neck is very long so that you strengthen your neck muscles and you create more space between the channels of the neck so that the head can relax and the brain can empty itself of blood and water and then go forward, backwards, forward, backwards. First go a few times forward, then a few times backwards, and forward and backwards. And then do the same to the left. First a few times to the one side, and a few times to the other side. And then when you are on the other side, after a few times, you do left and right, left and right, left and right. And every time you bounce a little bit, so that your whole body is involved in the movement. See, there's a whole swing of the whole body, even though you keep making the body long through opening the three gates. Make sure your neck stays long and then rotate halfway over the collar blade, over the collarbone and stretch open. Stretch open all the way up, all the way up, all the way up and all the way down. This is to also help you open up the base of the skull and then rotate with your palms to lift up the channels a little bit so that they become stretched. This is very good against neck and shoulder pain and then eventually also turn the palms upward stretch out the channels even more and you see now slowly start coming into the Tai Chi movement and then do a rotation full rotation of the neck and do this a little bit fast when you are a little bit dizzy don't go too fast but make sure you keep your neck long so that the rotation is easy rotation is easy 
This is all natural speeds. Okay, so it's easy and long. You throw it around and then you shake. You shake with your legs so that the weight can go down. And you gradually use the shaking when you go down more and more to jump, jump, and then jump down and jump up and jump down and jump up so that the weight is all the way into your feet. Jump is all the way from your feet and you jump upward and then you gradually relax again until you come to a rest point. Then you rotate your shoulders backwards, both shoulders. You rotate backwards in a large circle and then also in the opposite direction. Don't do it too many times to prevent cramps in your muscles. And then after a few times, also rotate alternating, one side front, one side back. It's like you're squeezing yourself in between people in a line, very specific touch to a movement. And then also the opposite direction. And use the same movement, the same rhythm of the movement, also for hitting with the elbow. So make an elbow throw from here, gradually coming. Yes, there it is, there it is, elbow throw. And then you start noticing the throw comes all the way from the feet. Throws all the way from the feet and also backwards. When you go backwards, you pull backwards in the same rotation force. And you pull backwards and you hit backwards. Prepare. Throw, 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 throw. Arms are all relaxed. Make sure the blood goes all the way to under your fingernails. And the other hand, 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 the other hand. Yes, and then alternating also. At the when you alternate, you use your hips to throw, you use your legs to throw to create more strength, and then make a Tai Chi fist. Every time you throw yourself into the fist, so that the blood goes to your fist, and close the fist, clench the fist at the moment when it arrives inside the body of your opponent. That's basically what the th strength is, to create explosive power in the opponent's body. Throw, 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 and also alternating. Make sure your back stays long. If you lean forward with your head or your chest, you, you lower the pressure in your lungs, and as a result of that, you can't keep up your rhythm. And flap your hands up and down, up and down, left and right, left and right, keep your elbows a little bit high and then like tassels rotate them left and right so that the channels around the wrist they get optimized and the points get optimized and the same for the elbows and the same for the arms first in two directions and then you open up and at the moment when you use the arms make sure you lift yourself up with the heels so that you all the way throw yourself up on your toes and you alternate the arms so every time another arm is in front and also go in the opposite direction backwards backwards make sure your upper lip stays relaxed so that you don't make a funny face many people don't make funny faces when they do this movement and you see it's not completely symmetrical it's a swing ah uh, yeah, yeah 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 go a little bit of rotation again <coughs> that everything stays open and then you go back to the next rotation this is for the diaphragma and the rib cage make a new rotation also to help deeper lying tensions go down all the way to the hips and to the knees and to the ankles and make a large rotation keep your legs a little bit long and make sure you rotate forward to backwards make sure you keep your eyes open with closed eyes you are more likely to fall you see i stand here on a platform on the water so I will fall in the water. Same. It's a very good opportunity to get dizzy if you're not in a proper stamina. And do the rotation for the hips. First a large circle. Large circle so that also the bottom of your feet is massaged in all directions. And rotate and rotate and rotate. I first studied these exercises with Wang Guang De, my uh, teacher before uh, Yao Shen De. And then do also for the hips, a very good tantric exercise also. Make sure you make a small hip and it helps you to relax your groin. And then from there make a bend, fold it with your arms and try to touch your feet with your elbows. Also on the side, move to the left, move to the right. Move to the left, move to the right, stop in the front also. And at the moment when you go one step further from that, you go first go back to the middle. Every time go up, 
then go to the left and then open your elbows open your elbows on that side so that your flanks are being opened and the waist is being stretched while you do this then go to the next move again 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 make this rotation make this rotation very good very good and go, go fold again same and then when you go back up you go fold forward with stretch legs and you try to get your forehead on your shin bone and on your uh, ankles on the opposite direction a few times on the same leg this is the easy part and then at that moment when you come from there you go up and you go to the opposite direction oh, I slipped on the slippery wood and the opposite direction was very scary on this platform because it was very slippery from the rain I thought for a moment maybe I should not exercise here it's additionally tiring when you do a dangerous environment and fold so that the uh, sacral bone is being stretched open and loose pull extra, pull extra, pull extra and up yes, lift your knee as high as you can and rotate with your feet, your toes lifted also in two directions make sure you balance if you have a hard time balancing like here, there's uh, no wind almost but still because of the slipperiness make sure you use your fingers by pointing them downward to the wood to balance yourself out it's just a mental trick for your balance or for your sense organs under your feet and in your eyes and then do the same with your ankles rotate your ankles to make sure that the circulation of your feet gets optimized keep your legs as relaxed as possible at the same time you try to roll all the way over your toes so that the top of your feet actually are being rotated so it depends on what kind of shoes you have if you can left and right, left and right but also forward backwards uh, what do I say, left and right per leg and left and right leg also at the same time and then rotate the knees try to sink as deep as possible and rotate over the soles of the feet make sure you rotate as low as possible keep looking forward and hold your knees to balance yourself and keep your knees together and at the moment when you arrive then you go stand up you, you hit the floor a few times to help you increase the blood flow in the soles of your feet then kick pull backwards and kick you lift your knees to your chest and then you hit with the heel at the level of the nose of your opponent and preferably if they're standing very close to you So it means that the feet has to go almost upward to somebody's face. In this pose you cannot really see it, but that's what it is. And then hold your hands above your head and kick them with your feet uh, to kick yourself there on the on the palms. This is to help you stretch the bladder channel. And sideways, same, sideways, same sideways same outward of the feet the outside of the foot you make a large circle so you first go inward with your leg and then swing your leg outward and keep your hand outward to make sure that there's as much space as you can and then kick with the outer foot outer foot try to rotate the toes inward other foot same other foot same other foot same and sideways kick it is very handy to tease your friends hit with the outside of your foot so it's a hit with your foot and kick you say upward kick is similar like with football when you try to keep the ball in the air with your feet you lift up this is to help you uh, make the muscles from the inner thigh more strong and then outward kick also a small horse kick small horse kick small donkey kick again 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 I've left a few kicks out within the class specifically for that subject that will all come back and then make a few more jumps also with two legs at the same time to make sure that you feel solidly rooted on the floor and then close with the young cheek on down. Thank you for watching. It was a pleasure to share this with you. I hope you can do this class every day for about uh, 20 minutes. So it's actually a little bit less. It's about uh, 16 and a half minutes and I will be sure that it will contribute to your fitness uh, very much. If you follow the whole course, you will end up with a program of about one hour per time. You will do about 60 exercises, and uh, you have a choice for about um, something like 8500 exercises.
program is every time I land a bit different. And this is part of uh, the next lesson. This is about uh, heaven and earth. I'll see you next time.